Hi everyone! I want to introduce the new system Anti-Tal by Extreme PBR Nexus. Make sure you have installed Extreme PBR version for point 0.1 111 or higher to have this feature. Go to Options and check the version of Extreme PBR. This feature was introduced in version for .1.111. Many of the texture-based materials have the problem of repetitiveness, especially on large trains. To solve this problem, an anti-tile system was introduced. As you can see in this example, you can see the repetitiveness of the grass texture. Let's go to the Material Editor menu. At the bottom there is now a box to activate the anti-tile. By checking it, the anti-tile activates immediately with a basic configuration. You can already notice that. The tile effect has completely disappeared. A new popover menu will be present. As soon as the anti-tile is activated, you can adjust the hue. This will make some areas patchy with slightly different color shades. You will only have to choose the range with minimum and maximum value. You can also adjust the minimum and maximum exposure in order to have darker and lighter patches. You can resize the patches. This is perfect for creating a very large train and making it much more realistic. By changing the algorithm, we can obtain different patches. This is a great starting point to have repetition free terrain. Let's now test a material with a texture, which the repetition is very noticeable. I add some displacement to make the terrain bumpy. As you can see, the tiled effect is very strong here. Let's activate the anti-tile. The repetition of the tiles has practically disappeared. Let's adjust the color and exposure a little. So, as to make the entire terrain less flat. We can increase the size of the patches. You can also adjust the blend scale between tiles and the edge blend. This gives you more control over the anti-tile. Having in this case a very high contrast, I prefer to use the noise effect. This is because it makes the gap between one patch and another much less marked. The noise effect stretches the ground much better, as it seems much more natural. The hue minimum and maximum effect give you more control over colors. Let's try another material, also with a texture where the repetition is very noticeable. This new feature integrates well with the Extreme PBRFX layer system as you can also mix different trains together in order to obtain a truly varied terrain. Thank you very much for viewing. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on news.